Today's Mass Readings May 31, 2020 Sunday Pentecost Sunday at the Vigil Mass First Reading A reading from the Book of Genesis Genesis chapter 11 verse 1 to 9 The whole world spoke the same language, using the same words. While the people were migrating in the east, they came upon a valley in the land of Chinnor and settled there. They said to one another, Come, let us mold bricks and harden them with fire. They used bricks for stone, and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower with its top in the sky, and so make a name for ourselves. Otherwise we shall be scattered all over the earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the people had built. Then the Lord said if now, while they are one people, all speaking the same language, they have started to do this, nothing will later stop them from doing whatever they presume to do. Let us then go down there and confuse their language, so that one will not understand what another says. Thus the Lord scattered them from there all over the earth, and they stopped building the city. That is why it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the speech of all the world. It was from that place that he scattered them all over the earth. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalms chapter 104 verse 1 to 2, 24, 35 and 27 to 30. Let our response be, Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. How manifold are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. Creatures all look to you, to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish, and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit, and renew the face of the earth. Second Reading A reading from the Book of Romans Romans chapter 8 verse 22 to 27 Brothers and sisters, we know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves, as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. In the same way, the Spirit too comes to the aid of our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who searches hearts, knows what is the intention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the Holy Ones, according to God's will. The Word of the Lord. Before we proceed, it would mean a lot if you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. Feel free to share your comments, suggestions and reflections on the comment section down below. Thank you and God bless. Now, let's continue with the video. Gospel Reading 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John chapter 7 verse 37 to 39. On the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood up and exclaimed, Let anyone who thirsts come to me and drink. As scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from within him who believes in me. He said this in reference to the Spirit, that those who came to believe in him were to receive. There was, of course, no Spirit yet, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. The Gospel of the Lord.